In more recent news, um, even before they announced earnings, there was some talk of a medical device unit restructuring. And this came out actually on my birthday, on January 19th, so not too long ago. Um, and this is, again, one of the pretty important three units that Johnson Johnson has. And there's going to be a huge shakeup within it. Yeah, if you would, you know, if you adjust out all of the items, right, um, currency, drag, um, uh, all the other impacts that that uh, weighed down on results last year on a reported basis, medical devices still, you know, lost ground. Okay, it was the one segment that that didn't do very well. Um, you know, that's concerning, obviously, to some because you look at it, you say there's ten thousand seniors turning 65 every day and obviously that's going to re- you know those seniors are going to require more hip replacements more knee replacements more joint, joint surgery a lot of different devices um, will will you know device sales will be tied to, to to aging of America so the company is recognizing that and they're doing a number of different things they're restructuring in order to, to come up with some cost savings they're also doing something that's kind of interesting they're trying to work more closely between their different segments so for example to tie in pharmaceuticals more with medical devices so they're working in concert with one another to develop next generation products rather than working as independent which sounds like a good idea, you know, build build those synergies and whatnot. Um, Along with the restructuring of this whole unit, there's going to be a lot of cost cutting. Apparently, four to six percent of the workforce is going to be cut. Um, I was actually talking to my mom on the phone last night, and she's not like a huge investing kind of follower. Like She listens to the podcast every once in a while. But she mentions this to me. She's like, oh, what are you talking about tomorrow on the show? I was like, oh, we're going to cover Johnson & Johnson earnings. And she's like, oh, man, they're cutting 3,000 jobs. I was like, how did you know that? But it's because Johnson Johnson's a New Jersey company. That's where I'm from. That's where she lives. Um, and so that's a big deal for a lot of people right there. But I mean, you look at it from the personal standpoint, it's like, oh, that's not good. But from Johnson Johnson's perspective and from the perspective of an investor, it's supposed to save eight hundred million to a billion dollars over the next two years. Yeah, and that's important because you know Johnson Johnson, they're forecasting that their growth over the course of the next five years is going to be greater than industry growth. So healthcare, you know, industry is expected to go three to five percent. They want to grow organically more than that, and they want to grow their EPS more than they're growing their organic growth. Obviously, to do that, you're going to have to cut cost some of the costs and make those divisions more profitable. Obviously, this is one of the ways they're doing it. Of course, that creates a whole nother problem because it means more money flowing onto their balance sheet, um, You know, a balance sheet that's already pretty bloated. 